Welcome to the learners of BSc Apparel and Fashion Design. Today we are going to see about the subject of fabric manufacturing techniques. The course code of this subject is BS ADS 33. This session was handled by me, Dr. R. Pragadishwari, Assistant Professor, Fashion and Apparel and Fashion Design, TNOU, Chennai. In this unit, in this subject, we have five blocks. First, we are going to see about the block one, fabric manufacturing. In this, the main concentration is weaving. The we in the block we have three units. One is introduction of fabric manufacturing. Another one is weaving mechanism. Uh, unit three is elements of weave representation. <coughs> unit one, fabric manufacturing. We know food, clothes, shelter is our important needs. So, clothing is developed by the insist of basic needs. By the demand of human, we have created much type of fabrics, clothings for the use of mankind. In the global market, fashion industry have the wide productions and wide need for producing all those garments. Fashion industry is followed by the technical in textiles and domestic goods. Today, textile business includes a large number and a range of procedures to add the value to the fibers. <coughs> it includes everything from yarn manufacturing and finishing sewing of fabric em embossing like that. Textile production process may be divided into two categories. One is traditional textile. Another one is technology textile. Traditional textile manufacturing means it fulfills our basic needs like fabric, household textiles, uh, furnishing item clothes like that. Our technology textile, the second one is technology textiles is applied for the specialty fabrics like fire protection, space garment, armor clothing like that. So these are the two things in our uh, manufacturing <coughs> basically the fabric production is done in three ways one is first one is weaving second one is knitting third one is nano one three, these three techniques are only used by widely all over the world weaving is the method of interlacement of yarn knitting is interlooping of yarns nano one is bonding of fibers so First, we are going to see about the woven fabric. Woven fabric, woven textile are the most widely used for clothing. So, everyday need of our clothing is fulfilled by majority by the woven fabric. <coughs> Basically, this woven textiles are made by uh, two sets of yarns. The one yarn is uh, moves, uh, one yarn is uh, arranged in vertical manner. Another one is arranged in uh, uh, horizontal manner. The set of yarns, vertical set of yarn is known as ends, warp, usually it is called as warp. This yarn is usually thicker, stronger than the crosswise yarn. Next, the second one is horizontal yarn, that is pix, weft or filler yarn. This is might be a smaller in strength. So, this is the filler yarn. <coughs> the number of warp and weft yarn per centimeter or inch is referred to as thread count. Based on this thread count, we have produced a compactness of fabric. Whether you, we use leisure count means we get the cloth of loosely woven. Whether we have a large number of count means we have uh, we get tightly packed garments. Next, it is expressed in warp and, ex -weft, warp and into weft. That is such as usually a 331 number of uh, warp per cm and 17 weft per cm. The common count thread count is 100% of cotton fabric. <coughs> so, these are the count. Next, we have to see about the knitted fabrics. Knitted fabrics, the second major fabric production technique. That is... Knitted textiles we have used uh, for our undergarments, intimate garments, like that. Then, the knit textiles 
offers most stretchability. Uh, it basically uh, based on the manufacturing technique, it would have uh, stretchability on this particular. So it can be made by the interlooping of yarns. So interlooping means see the figure. The usually the fabric construction is made by the knitting needles. So knitting needles produce this uh, curvy loops. One, uh, the, all the loops are intersected together. Based on the intersection, we have to create the knitted fabric. Warp and weft knit fabric is usually a less dimensional stability than woven material, which means they lose their shapes more rapidly and may curl, become twisted or stretched out. Stretch fibers have been uh, <coughs> commonly utilized in knit fabrics. So that the knit fabric is stretched, bounced and back to the original shape. The last one is non-woven fabrics. So non-woven fabrics, uh, the loose fibers are arranged together and uh, loose fibers are processed in straight and into textiles rather than going to the yarn step. That is, uh, non-woven fabric usually produced from the fiber stage. See the last one is weaving, knitting is all comes under the process of uh, fibers. After that we have go for yarn making. After that we have go for fabric production. But non-woven fabric production is entirely different from uh, above two techniques. Because non-woven fabric is produced from uh, the fiber stage. So we have uh, non-woven fabric is a fiber, fabric-like material made from the short fiber or long fiber bonded together. So bonded together means we applied some techniques of to uh, combine all the fibers by chemical, mechanical, heat or solvent treatment. So non-woven textiles is often cheap but they have very little strength and are hence unsuitable for clothes. So we are not, uh, is, it, it is, it's not fit for our regular use garment, but it is very, it gives very uh, greater support to our clothing. Uh, how itself means we have attached some uh, collar band, <coughs> waistband, two interlacements like that. So non-woven non -woven fabric is most uh, uh, inten uh, intensive technique of uh, creating the fabric. In the, the next slide we have see about the methods of fabric manufacturing technique. Uh, now no one weaving, knitting, we already know about the basic thing, what is going on there. In this uh, we have, for the first one is uh, non oven. Non oven making we have followed three techniques. The first one is web formation. The second one is web bonding. The third one is web finishing. Uh, in the weaving, we are uh, making the fabric by uh, two techniques. Basic weaves, fancy or surface figured weaves. In knitting, we are produced the garment in two techniques. The one is warp knitting. Another one is web knitting. <coughs> Next, we see about the second unit of our uh, uh, fabric production techniques. In this unit, we have contained the detail about weaving mechanism. So already I told that uh, weaving mechanism is the interlacement of yarn. That is we have, uh, we have uh, two set of yarns. So one is uh, horizontal and another one is vertical. The vertical yarn is known as warp and the horizontal direction of yarn is known as weft. <coughs> See the figure, how it is going to be interlaced from each other. The vertical yarn is placed uh, in parallel way, like a blue color yarn is indicated a warp yarn. See the green yarn is interlaced uh, by the uh, interlacement of these warp yarns. <coughs> so the weaving is produced by the use of looms. So we know the loom, uh, actually the loom is uh, uh, basic uh, mechanism which we have to produce the garment in right way. In this loom mechanism basically functionalized into three ways. 
like primary motion, secondary motion, and axillary motion. So, <coughs> see the figure. It shows the uh, semantic. Uh, this is this shows the schematic diagram of weaving. See, uh, in this uh, weaving loom, we have the component of fabric uh, fabric roll, then uh, yeah, <coughs> weaver's beam, warp. Heels, heels moved up to up, uh, down. Then the cloth roll, cloth roll which wind the finished uh, clothing. The next is primary motion. The <coughs> primary motion. These are fundamentals or essential mechanism of loom. So without this mechanism, it is practically impossible to produce the fabric. It is uh, for this reason uh, that these mechanism are called primary mechanism. So in this primary mechanism, we have three options. The first one is shedding, second one is picking, and third one is beat up. So shedding mechanism separates the warp threads into two layers. So this will help to interlace, uh, give the passage to the interlacement of shed. <coughs> so this is first is shedding mechanism. The next one is uh, it following that the picking mechanism. Picking mechanism passes the weft thread from one selvage to the fabric and another selvage through the shed by means of shuttle. So this shuttle is uh, usually carries the horizontal thread that is uh, weft thread. Weft thread passed over the warp yarn uh, uh, shedding. So it creates the filling to the Warp yarn. The third one is beat up mechanism. So beat up mechanism beats or pushes the newly inserted length or warp threaded that is pick into the already woven fabric at the point of known as stuff cloth. <coughs> this is the mechanism. The first one is uh, first rising the uh, reed. The second one is uh, in the, uh, the shuttle will pass us through the raised uh, yarn area and uh, the third uh, motion is beaten, beating up. The beating up means just give the compactness to the weft thread. The secondary motion is warp control. So warp control means let of uh, motions deliver uh, warp to the weaving area required with the rate of at constant tension by unwinding it from the weaver's beam. The next one is cloth control that is take up motion. So see the let off motions means uh, just deliver the uh, warp yarn for the process of weaving. Cloth control means already created cloth may be winded in the cloth beam. So this is the thing. Axillary motions in order to produce the high quality of fabric increase the productivity of loom. And to prevent the damages in, uh, it is necessary to use some of stop motions. So warp stop motions, warp stop motions, warp protector mechanism and uh, temple. <coughs> so the, uh, these stop motions, even if uh, only one warp breaks and our aid uh, in the discovery of the broken ends. So this means uh, if uh, the parallel of yarns is arranged in the uh, warp beam, if it any one is broken means it may be stopped. And next is for protective motion. It's used mostly for shuttle looms to prevent the shuttle smashing when it becomes trapped inside the shed and to prevent the fracture of multiple warp ends. Weft stop motion is an, uh, on non-auto looms to hold the looms when weft breaks or weft package is reels. So these are the parts of looms. So these are the, um, what are the parts inside the looms? We have the uh, explanation in it. So basic weaving process is uh, done by all this uh, step in weaving process. So first one is yarn preparation. The second one is yarn doubling, winding, cone winding, drilling, warping, sizing. So first five techniques is uh, depend on the uh, shuttle making preparatory process. The second one is warping, sizing, 
winding to the weaver's beam, drawing, denting, looming, weaving, take up the fabric roll, fabric inspection and delivery. So thank you guys. This sessions, I hope that uh, the sessions uh, is use, uh, will be used for you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, uh, listening to us. Thank you so much.